Hi everyone, today in this video we're going to be looking at the merge effect in vMix. Now the merge effect is a transition that allows you to transition between a multi-view input and one of the inputs on the multi-view. So this is great for things like interviews where you can transition between a split screen of multiple cameras and then go transition to one of the individual cameras. Now I'll show you how to set it up. The first way is to add a virtual set multi-view. So we go to virtual sets and then we'll pick one of the multi-view templates down here. Then we want to set that up. So click set up and choose what you want on the top left and the bottom right. Oops, bottom right. So now if we bring that into the preview, see we've got our multi-view set up here. Okay, so with the multi-view you can add images or cameras or videos, but we've just chosen videos for this one here. So we're just going to stop this for now. Alright, so in order to use the merge transition, you'll need to bring up one of these inputs into the preview and then use the merge transition to bring it across. Now if you don't see the merge transition in the bar, you can just use the drop down menu here and then select merge. Now by default it's set at 1000 milliseconds for the duration, but we've changed to 300 to make it a little bit quicker. Okay, so in order to merge that across, I just need to click the merge transition and as you can see, it has brought out from the multi-view into the individual input. If I want to use the other one, I just select it and then I can merge that one off over to. Okay, so you don't have to use the merge transition here. You can actually set up a shortcut. So what I want to do is go to add, select a key here, and then the function I want to choose is transition and merge. So then select the duration, and then for the input, I need to select which one of them I want to use. So let's just go with the flowers one and then click OK. So what you want to do is set up, you can set up a, a shortcut for each of the inputs involved in the multi-view and the multi-view itself so you can merge between each three of the inputs. So now I'm going to press the D button and it won't be in the preview, it'll go directly from the, um, the window down here straight into the output. Then if we want to transition it back, we can just hit the merge So that's a quick way to show you how to use the merge transition with one of the multi-view virtual sets. Now I'll show you how you can set that up to use um, just a multi-view that you've created. As with most things in vMix, you can completely customize and create your own multi-view. What I want to do is create a merge effect between these three picture inputs for our Employee of the Month award. So I've already created a background image that I want to use for my multi-view, but you could use a color, you could use a video or an image or something just to create a background for your multi-view. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to the settings and then go to the multi-view section for this particular input. Now the multi-view allows you to layer multiple inputs on a single input. So what I want to do is layer these other pictures on this input. So I go to number one, Click this guy. Now I can move it around. I can hold down shift to drag in and drag out to resize like this. Okay, now I can also set the position specifically by going here and setting custom positions um, using the zoom like so. You can cropping and panning as well. Or I can use it here to drag it around. Okay, so I just need to go back to multi view and then select the second layer, which is this guy. So there are presets um, for the multi-view up here, so I could select this one that will move it. Um, however, I want to do it custom on my own, so I'm just going to select this and I'm going to move them around like so. Now I just need to add my third layer, which is this guy. Now once that's done, I can actually add this as a preset. So if I click add here, it will save it as a preset so I can use it for next time. Now once that's done, I just use the merge transition like I did previously. Or I could set up shortcuts like I did before. Okay, so that's how you use the merge effect within vMix. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.